that's even higher up. Lights in the sky, eyewitnesses on the ground, a familiar story for followers of the UFO phenomenon. But according to dozens of witnesses, what happened many years ago in a town in Brazil was very different. Joining us now, live filmmaker James Fox, here to talk about his new doc documentary, Moment of Contact. We're talking about the claim of a close encounter of the third time. James Fox, thank you for joining us. Can you set the scene for us? Where did this all happen? So thank you for having me on. Uh, and I know uh, to your audience that this sounds uh, pretty much unbelievable because I was met with a heavy level of skepticism with myself back when I heard about it in the late 90s. And I was making a film called Out of the Blue at the time. And I dismissed it so quickly because it's commonly referred to as the Roswell of Brazil. But the advantage is this happened in 1996 and the witnesses for the vast majority of witnesses are still alive. So you have a town in the state of Minas Gerais, which is roughly five hours to the north of Sao Paulo, that was completely cordoned off by the military. Um, and people made, making claims of, uh, of, of a strange, unknown cigar-shaped object that looked like it was in trouble, ultimately crashing. And then a few days later in the town of Virginia, you have statements from both military, police, fire department, and civilians of these extremely strange creatures, which quite honestly, they thought were uh, demonic in nature. Right. Uh and we saw one of the images look like a drawing, a rendering of that big red eyes. And is that something that multiple people described? Yes, they, they all described that, whether it was the people that were involved in the transportation of these creatures from the local military base, EZA, uh, from the fire department, from the police department. And, and there were three girls ages 14, 16, and 21, two of which were sisters in broad daylight that came within eight feet and made direct eye contact with this creature. And it was cowering, it was uh, feeble, weak, and scared. Wow, and you get to and speak again, to them all in your film. I know this sounds unbelievable. I know this sounds too sensational to be true. And I didn't believe it either, but I'm convinced after 12 years of investigation and, and um, mul multiple witnesses that this event did actually happen. Right. And it's the Roswell of Brazil, we call it, because it, uh, it involves a UFO crash and beans. So let's get into it. You've done previous documentaries before, and your previous docs stand out because you went to great effort to seek out the most credible witnesses and avoid that fringe of the UFO community. Did you find it more difficult with this case? I did because I, I to me, I, I had a hard time coming to terms with this case because I thought, how could an event of this magnitude happen and the whole world not know about it? How could there mm -hmm. be live creatures or beings or whatever you want to refer to them as walking through this town and that the whole world wouldn't know about this event? Right. But, but I went there four times over a period of 12 years. I, I, I teamed up with Brazilian UFO researchers and uh, and I'm I'm absolutely convinced, both military and civilian, by the way. These, the, the, sorry, the people that I worked with, and I'm convinced that uh, that this event happened, as as the witnesses stated, it happened. All right, so you're convinced, without physical or even real photographic evidence of an alien, what should believers, let alone skeptics, take away from this film? Well, you you, you have to look at. You can't base your belief or disbelief on, on any, any one piece of testimony, but you look at a preponderance of firsthand eyewitness testimony, again, both military and civilian, and uh, you're forced to conclude that something truly extraordinary took place on January 20th, 1996 in Virginia, Brazil. What an experience that you had going down to Brazil. 12 years in the making, and the film is out, streaming on multiple platforms today. Moment of contact. Any suggestions for people who want to watch? Yeah, I mean, you can you can see it on iTunes, Amazon. Um, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's just, I, I say that suspend judgment, listen to the testimony, and then draw your own conclusions. Because myself, as a filmmaker who's conducted, I produced five films on this topic, uh, I know it sounds extremely difficult to believe, but imagine for a moment if indeed a UFO did crash and beans, <clears throat> excuse me, 
were recovered or captured, uh, how significant of an event this would be. I think that most of your viewers would quickly conclude that if it were true, it would be one of the most significant stories of the 21st century, <clears throat> of the 20th century. All right. Thank you so much, James Fox. As my eighth grade science teacher would say, there's nothing else out there. What a waste of space. Appreciate your time. Thank you so much for having me on. I appreciate it. All right. Take care. Have a good day. All right. Now we're